uh, non-union uh, employee compensation. You've all received the memos from the manager's office, and I understood you had some questions, so I'd be happy to answer whatever questions you currently have. Mrs. Wolseley? Memo. You don't have any questions? What, what memo? We got last week, uh, two weeks we got ago. last week, yeah. Actually, there are memos that were sent back in May on this issue, yeah, both from me old. and to and from oh. the um, finance director, re making that. recommendations and mm -hmm. giving you options of what you could do. Right. So I'm going to just briefly overview. That's fine. I'll, I'll be happy to do that. Um, in the current budget, there is a line item called merit um, that is in uh, the personnel administration budget that has about twenty-five thousand and change in there. Um, and customarily, the board takes a look at that each year and assesses whether or not you wish to give out um, uh, merit increases or increases to the non-union employees. Um, so that memo details that. Um, and really, it's a light switch. First question, do you wish to utilize that money? And if you, you wish to utilize it, we make a recommendation on how to do so. Um, but that's the first issue for the board to decide. Did you have questions, um, Regina? Um, no, I don't have any questions, but as far as making a motion to do it, I, I don't, I'm not ready to do that. But I do like what the assistant town manager did because it is what we discussed about doing last year. But because of what happened last year and it not passing, I don't think it's proper to do it for this year going forward. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not ready to uh, do anything with that $25,000 that's in the budget. And how do you feel about that? I guess it's a board decision. No. I mean, I certainly no. there's every time that, that, that our <clears throat> union folks get raises and the non-union folks do, you have some morale issues you'll deal with, no question. Uh, but those are things the board's going to have to wrestle with. You know, I, I, I think it's, it's a challenge we have in a default budget, but I also think it's appropriate to utilize that money and, and reward the work that our, our folks are doing. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with uh, Jamie. Um, we, if you watch the news, you watch everything, we're in the best economy we've been in. We have the lowest unemployment we've ever had. We have a stock market that's just raging on. We have businesses that are doing extremely well. McDonald's, uh, Burger Chef, all those are offering all sorts of money. And I, I, cannot, I cannot in good conscience say that I would not recommend giving a, a raise, whether it be a small raise or whatever, to our employees who have done well and have serviced us well. I mean, I think they deserve it, and I think it's a, I think it's a tough one. I think the $25,000 is there, and I am 100% for it because most people in, in the uh, economy are getting raises in the job market, so I, I'm 100% for it. And I agree. I think uh, we did a wage study here a number of years ago, and we found out that a number of our positions were uh, deficient, and some of them were way below deficient. Um, and so I think we should we should work at trying to get that up to what the MRI study said uh, when it came to wages. And uh, you're right; we're in a good economy right now. We have our employees have been valued employees, and I think to penalize them. Uh, with the money being there, I think it sends the wrong message. So I'd be in favor of it. Um, and this is something that we would do in private or during the meeting? Well, you, you make the decision whether or not you want to utilize those funds now and how you do that in public is fine. In we yeah, absolutely. In public. Yeah. Yeah. You don't discuss individuals or anything of that nature, right. but this is mm -hmm. a policy decision that's certainly appropriate to discuss in public. Uh, about the tw So if we need a decision here right now if we want to um, um, consider uh, bringing this forward for the 25000 mm -hmm. and yes. how it's dispersed. Well, uh, yeah, step one is decide to use it. Step two, we can discuss how to disperse it. We have a recommendation if the board chooses to do that. We have a recommendation on how we would uh, recommend you proceed. Okay, Mrs. Walsley. Yeah, I have a quick question, and I believe this happened last year. In a department that has a long time manager and a new uh, an employee is then elevated to the position why would we give well let, let me back off on that a little bit the individual who left the employee of the town had been employed for a good 25 years at least 
she was earning a reasonable salary. When her replacement was put in to take over that department, that replacement was given the same salary as the individual with many years of service who left. Yes. Isn't that rather, it was about an $18,000 a year raise? Well, it was a promotion to a, a director level yes. position. But so, not as much experience as the prior. Uh, so, so there's two issues that come out with that. First is this was a promotion, not a raise. So it was a new position, it was a director level. And this is one of the reasons that I had been recommending um, we go down the path of dealing with this study from MRI and setting up these ranges because in Hampton we have had one number for those positions in the past. Mm -hmm. And in order to be able to deal with those issues, you're exactly right, there are term of service, there are skills, SKAs, skills, knowledge, and ability, all things that quite frankly we didn't have good guidance to be able to use on that range. <clears throat> Coming up with the ranges, it certainly is something in the future we'll be able to do. It'll leave the manager some authority to be able to put somebody in there based on, hey, we got a very highly skilled person into a position and we can move them into the range. We've got a new person, we could start them on the lower end. Previously, we had one number. We didn't have a range. And it posed some problems in the past um, of doing those very things. How do you, you can always do it, but the question came up on a number of occasions, uh, concerns of, for example, in one case, we hired into a director position a, a female, a woman who came into that position, and those discussions were trying to lower that pay rate. Well, there was one pay rate. It, it looks, it's not appropriate, it's not. So that's why one of the recommendations that we had, and what you'll see and what the board is now choosing to move forward with, I assume, is this range that can address that very issue. Could I just say something, and I agree 100%, it's a disservice to say it was a raise, it was not a raise. Oh. And the director that was in there was grossly underpaid. Grossly underpaid. So it was, it was not a position that was a highly paid position. And it, and it would be, it's a disservice to say it was a raise because it was not a raise. And it makes the person look bad. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we have um, a, uh, uh, there's three of us here that decide that we want to so talk about We should about probably this take a further. vote to that effect if that's what you wish to do. I'll make a motion that we go ahead and proceed with the, uh, I'll second the 25,000. I in. still have discussion. Yeah. We, well, I'll second the motion so we can have the yeah, motion. So we have a first and a second. And I just want to say it doesn't have to, we don't have to use all 25,000 no. to decide. We can use whatever. You, exactly yeah. right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Discussion? Okay. So on this list, and I, like, again, I agree with what you did. But I just don't think that, because what I see with this list is now I've been doing it now, this will be my fourth year, is that some of these people on this list have gotten actual pay increases and some have not. Mm -hmm. Now, MRI looked at it sort of independently, which is one of the reasons why I liked it, because they came from the outside mm -hmm. and they just looked at everyone where they stood and they compared it to whatever the municipalities were, they compared it to. But, um, my problem is, well, one, Lieutenant Gidley's still on here, so I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, not, that's not going to be applicable. Right. But, um, so, there's some people on this list that I feel are really getting shafted. And we have $25,000 because it's a default budget. So, and the other problem, which, you know, I understand what Mary Louise said, I understand what Jim said, but just giving the number every year. Mm -hmm. Why can't we do more of a bonus type thing? I mean, when I worked at a CPA firm, I got a bonus at the end of the year. And that was based on my performance. If it wasn't good, my bonus wasn't as good. And it was also based on the performance of the firm. Mm -hmm. If we got more clients, if we lost one, mm -hmm. after the, uh, yeah. they got over-regulated, and we lost a bunch of our community banks, we had less clients, we had less income. So it seems like just taking, and I appreciate what you and Christy do, you, a lot of detail is put into this, and like I said, I agree, I agree with your memo that you sent us actually on May 9th, I have it right here, but I have to listen to what the town said. Yeah, absolutely. And the town said no. So we have $25,000 there, well, yeah, but I mean, we've had Public Works come in here a week after the budget or whatever it was after the budget passed and cut all this money out of their budget, and they're the ones that need the most money out of everyone. 
I mean, they have $3.4 million in their 2020 capital improvement plan. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we want to do something, if we want to make sure that we hit people, we don't want them to, you know, be upset. And I realize how great the economy is doing, regardless of what some thought it was going to do. But that doesn't mean that who I'm sitting at this table for, I can just totally disregard. And I'm sitting at this table for the town of Hampton, which is not just the employees, but the people that pay all the taxes. Mm -hmm. So if we want to use this $25,000, I might not have a problem with that. But instead of just blanking everyone 1.9% or 2%, so, so I feel like- So part of the discussion that we're going to have if, we, if this motion passes, so it's not tonight. Oh, okay, so we're not going to decide no, on the amount no, tonight? No, no. This so is just to decide if we're going to have it on the, we'll probably put it on the agenda the next time. This is perfect. just to decide if we're going to have it. That's perfect. So <laughs> the motion is uh, that we are going to discuss it at the next meeting. And so the motion was to utilize the 25000 yeah. for raises. Yes, right. if we decide that that's what we want to do. You know, that was, was to utilize it for raises. That was the motion. Yeah, but we don't have to utilize it. That's what I just asked. And he said, no, we didn't. Well, uh, to be clear, if you, you make the vote to utilize it, then it's how do we distribute that 25000 How do we distribute that money to the employees? And we have some recommendations on how to proceed with that. If the board, that's again, it's in the memo. The board wants to put this off to another day to discuss it. That's yeah, fine, too. I think we should rediscuss it again. Well, okay. So. Right. I think yeah. I think we should we go forward with it and we can rediscuss it, but I don't want it to see it linger on for months and months like we've had it happen in the past. We would do it in November before, and I think I yeah. think we can come back with it fairly soon. Yeah, yeah no. I mean, I guess the information I'd want from you, what is it you folks need? Uh, what what more information do you need to help make you to make the decision? I think what would help Jamie for me is if you resent this out to okay. us again. Yep, uh, it's been since May, and some of us may not have it, and I think we could see that. I mean, you had a proposal in there for 1.9. You also had a proposal in there for 1.35, along with some other adjustments. For They're all things for consideration. That's correct. Right. So I think again, if you send that back out to us again, and then we can bring it up in that. two weeks so yeah. that we can. In general, if I can, what we had discussed in-house in the team is, you know, if a, you make the decision you want to utilize that money, then the decision is how do we distribute that? And our recommendation was in the 19 budget preparation, this board decided that you wanted to move people at least to the halfway mark of the MRI study. Remember, you were going to do that over two years. Mm -hmm. Going to move them halfway the first time, the second half the second time. So our recommendation was to use that as the priority, to focus on those folks first and move them to at least that goal that you had set for the 19 budget. And then, for the other folks, take the remaining money and evenly distribute it amongst those folks. That's what our recommendation essentially was. And the third part of that was for those folks who have reached the maximum end of the, um, the, the uh, uh, pay Scaled. plan, yeah. that we not, not go into a salary, into a base salary adjustment. They stop at the maximum end, and if there's a differential above, as like when Barnes had indicated, it could be paid as a, a merit increase or a bonus, where it's a one-time payment instead of adjusting on your base salary. So all of those things are there for consideration. It's in the paperwork. We'll be happy to send that back out to you for consideration, and we can take it up whenever you like. But we still have a motion in a second. Right. Yeah. I've got, um, uh, my motion's on the, on the table, so we have to deal with the motion. So you have to take a vote. Restate that. That we use the 25000 for pet raises, for non-union raises. Now, how we do it, that's a different story. And that's my motion. Have any of these people gotten raises? No, none of the non-union this year have received raises. And no. all of the uh, union uh, workers, pretty much, or yeah. most of them, yes. have received. Okay. All of the unions are under contract, and they have received yeah. their appropriate raises on April okay. 1. So, yes, okay. So, all those in favor? Against? We have three and two. So, we'll okay. schedule it for the next meeting. Very good. And please send all the information out. I will do Again. so.